Hello beautiful people! Welcome back to my channel and if you are new, hello, my name is Tammy. If you have not yet subscribed, do not cut the cameras. This is the If you have, welcome to another video. I know we had a little hiatus last week, but I am back. We love a consistent queen. And today, guys, we are going to be making Zobo. Okay, I don't want to get any bad comments in this video because I've never made this before. If you listen to the How Far podcast, and you should, linked below, then you'll know that I had a little scandal. This is the closest I've ever come to being cancelled, ever, because I called Zobo hibiscus cocktail so i have never made zobo before even though i'm a huge fan this should be interesting yeah i've never made it before so i have to follow someone else's recipe i've linked the recipe i am copying today i'm just gonna follow her technique there's a lot of other techniques where you let the flowers marinate like boil overnight but i'm lazy you don't have a lot of time so we are going to do a quick like 20 minute boil one so this is not one you need 24 hours to prepare this is one you can do in i think like 25 minutes so let's go let's make this i'm going to be learning how to make one of my favorite drinks um we'll see how it tastes i mean i'm not gonna talk a big talk until i actually try it and taste it and drink it so let's begin before we start mixing and mashing and boiling i wanted to show you guys the full ingredients i'm going to be using yes i prepped like the type a person i am so we have our leaves our zobo leaves hibiscus leaves whatever you want to call them the dried flour and then we have some pineapple this is for taste you don't need to add this it's up to you ginger as well i love ginger so i'm doing quite a bit of this then we have the pineapple skins. Is this is this called pineapple skin? Yeah, I don't know. Um, pineapple skin, which you boil to add flavor. Same with the orange. This also adds flavor. Then we have our cloves. There's another name for this, but it's just kind of what adds that really distinctive smell. I love the smell of this so good. Then cinnamon for taste. If you're not a fan of cinnamon, skip this step, but I love cinnamon. And lemon as well. I put a tiny bit of this, <laughs> please. No comments as to why i cut it like this i don't want to hear it finally to sweeten it up honey i'm gonna decide how much i want in this i'm gonna add honey after it's done just to taste a bit sweeter and usually i'll have this on its own or mixed with some nice alcohol that's all our ingredients and guys let's begin all right so first thing we are doing is adding hot water or warm water to the flowers i don't know why we have this step can you guys help me out is this to rinse it or is this to start marinating the juices i don't know i'm just following someone else's video this tap brings out hot water straight like boiling tea water so it's not tap water it's clean i'm going to fill that up all the way i will give that a little stir right so all the juices can come out and the next step in this recipe specifically is that i now drain out all the juices And now we start blending. We're gonna blend our pineapple and we're gonna blend our ginger together. That's the next step. I'm taking it step by step. Let's not overwhelm ourselves with all this culinary expertise. Let's keep it very simple. Zobo 101, because I'm really trying not to mess this up. You guys are watching. I'm going to take my pineapple there and then also my ginger. Next, we are going to grind the cloves. So I'm going to put those in my Nutribullet and whip up that so it's a bit more powdery. Okay, prep done. This is where it gets fun. I'm going to put all the ingredients together and boil and that's it. So we have our flower leaves, our damp flower leaves. I still don't know why I did that step in draining it, but okay, we move. That's going to go into the pot. Then we have our pineapple skins. <laughs> oh 
if there's a lack of continuity in this video it's because i'm trying to make this youtube video and tiktok this process at the same time and i don't have the social media capability to do that so that's great next we got our clothes and I cannot get over how good this smells. Someone needs to make like a clove candle or incense. Or if there's one out there, please comment it below. Okay, can we be serious? Okay, there we go. Lemon. And then to finish it off, our pineapple and ginger. Don't forget the ginger okay so everything is in there let me show you guys what it is looking like right now that is our pot and i'm gonna fill it up with water to the brim before we start boiling okay it is smelling amazing it's looking amazing i'm just gonna mix it all up mix it real good and we're going to leave it right here for 20 minutes and i know people do this overnight but me i don't have time so we're gonna do that for 20 minutes i will come back to you guys and we will taste test see you in 20 a few moments later it's ready okay 20 minutes later and now we're gonna have a look at our cool that looks overcooked guys that looks overcooked okay when i thought everything was going to plan So she's doing pretty well. She smells amazing. I haven't tasted it yet just because I wanted to add the cinnamon first. I want to kind of control my flavor by slowly adding in some honey. That's some honey, but I'm now going to stir and taste it. And then you'll see how much honey I really want. Okay, let me do a little taste to see if it is sweet enough. No, it's not sweet enough at all. <laughs> I think I'm realizing how sweet Zobo is. I, well, guys, is there any other sweetener you use? You just use sugar because I wanted to keep this kind of healthy as well. So I thought honey was a better alternative. But let me know what you use to sweeten. But the taste is there. It's just not as sweet as I like. So I'm just throwing in a lot more honey to try and get it where I like. Okay, let's see. Let's try again. This is part two of the tasting. Can you see my face? Can you see how I'm smiling? I get good. There we go. Guys, it's good, it's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna let it chill because I like my Zobo cold on ice. I'm gonna let it chill and then we will do our final taste test. Proud of myself, can't even lie to you. It is the moment of truth. I've gone all snuggly. You guys know I had to go bougie with the taste test. So it's time to try my made with love Zobu. Okay, it may not be perfect, but it is pretty damn good. Okay, if I got served this in like a restaurant, in a bar, I'm not complaining. I don't know if that's good or bad, but basically, I'm happy. I've learned how to make it. I will now drink this for the rest of the week. Cheers to me. It's good. Okay, we've reached the end of the video. And guys, let me get very comfortable to say, if you have not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button right now. I will see you guys in the next video. Sending you peace and love. Bye.